Never let the shrimp them pass. Never, never let an opportunity to shrimp them pass. Oh, whoa. Will it be? Is this our big chance? I've got a triple booster box opening of set nine of the One Piece card game, which I'm very hyped about. I would love to pull a manga. It's been quite some time since I've pulled a manga from a Japanese box. Um, I don't know. I still have one case left of set eight that I'm planning to open, but I don't know when I'm gonna open it. I'd like to do a live stream. I just haven't really had the time because of so much stuff going on, like getting all the lights on these shelves behind me, bless them, that you might see. Uh, but so far from this case, I think we pulled four alt arts and two leaders. So nothing crazy, pretty, pretty standard shrimpums, I guess. You, oh, Roger, that's our first secret. So I think actually that's it for that box because we already pulled two of the, uh, I think it's two of the, uh, the, the alt art leaders, which I think is it. I think when that happens, then you just get secrets and it's just secrets and we haven't pulled any of the secrets so far. So there's a, uh, should be four. So there's one and we're doing this triple box shrimp them today. Bless them. I, I don't think I don't think I'm, I think I mentioned this, but I'm not going to go crazy keeping, keeping sealed stuff. I'm actually just going to open the Blossom. Sometimes, sometimes I bless him, the hottest card in the box. It happens occasionally. That's not it, but that is a nice looking card. Um, yeah, I think set, sets one through nine were the sets to really collect. I think there will be more valuable cards. And when they do the anniversary, like, uh, sets like OPO nine, and OPO five, I think those are going to be worthwhile sets to keep a couple boxes sealed or something but i am i'm stripping it all because i love playing this game i love making leaders for this game i'm really trying to uh expand my leader game i think by this time actually my halloween leaders will have come out so if you like halloween kaizoku cards Hall at least don't have the halloween backs on because these are my copies but uh yeah we did a bunch of halloween versions of characters Check them out. Dofi Luffy. This is a good one. Dofi as Luffy. I like that a lot. But you can check them out on my website, kaizokucards.com. It does does help me continue shrippaming. So if you like watching these shrippums, instead of donating to the channel, you can just go to my website and buy cards that I make. And then that way, you're supporting what I do here. And you're getting cool, shiny stuff that I made with my own hands. So keep the shrippums alive, you know? Never let, never let the shrimp them pass. Never, never let an opportunity to shrimp them pass. Oh, whoa. That's a shiny gold Roger. It's not the gold manga, but this is the alt art Roger, I believe. Very cool. I don't know if this one is, I, I, I imagine this one is less rare than the gold manga, but that's cool. Gold Roger. We can see we got the regular secret and the alt art secret. And then there is a manga version of this as well. And there are other manga characters as well. I, I think also, I think that's it for these packs. I think there's only, these boxes are only going to be like one thing in the box now. So let's move on to the to our final box here. Since we, since we already pulled both of the leaders, unfortunately, Unfortunately, that's the way of the Japanese box. It's just hit and then bust and it's done. So here we are, another box of OP09 and still bless them, no mangas. Will it be? Is this our big chance? I think that, oh, whoa, whoa, back to back to back Rogers. I just bless them to pack and popped it out and whoa that is that is we just got triple rogered what the heck what the heck uh that's nuts that's insane wow new studio new me new joku space all right this this does have to go into a sleeve i know i'm gross about not putting cards in sleeves but this has got to go into a sleeve immediately holy hexagon the gold manga Roger. 
That's insane. Yeah, OP09. Japanese OP09. It was about time for me to get her get a manga. And there it is. I might send this in the grade. Let me see. What's the centering like on this bud boy? That is. No, it's a little off center from top to bottom. You can see this bottom part it looks a little bit thicker than that top part. So we'll probably get a 9.5 on centering. But this could be a gold 10. Gold label on Roger would look pretty good. Now nah, I'm keeping my binder. Wow. I don't know. Is there still any point in opening up these packs? I feel like I should open up the rest of this this box like on principle. On principle that there was a gold, gold, double gold. That was crazy. I just grabbed three boxes. There were three Rogers in each of those boxes. And it went from like increasing rarity from the regular secret rare to the alternate art. And I was hyped to pull the alternate art. I think the alternate art's very cool. I was not expecting to pull that gold, very golden Roger. Wild. Absolutely wild. Oh my goodness. I gotta, I do have to put that in the sleeve. I'll put, I don't know where my sleeves are right now. I use them so infrequently. I like don't actually even have any sleeves. <laughs> Whoops. You know me, I'm a shrippaming sicko. True shrippum maniac. Wow, the gold manga Roger. What an insane pull. What an absolutely insano pull. Captain Insano, what a surprise. Absolutely nuts, I don't know. That feels good, I hope I pull it in English because I do want an English one. That's why I never really feel bad if I don't pull, pull mangas in Japanese. I'm like, ah, I want the English one more anyway. But I feel like that's a card probably that I won't put in my deck. I think the gold manga, and, and you know, I did a gold manga at Kaizoku cards, so I kind of uh, have, a, have a special place in my heart for the fact that they did a gold manga and that they used gold Roger is just very perfectly fitting. That was nuts. I just pulled out the Blessum. I was like, Blessum, I'm just going to... Oh, oh, so you get a secret in this also. So that was just an alternate art. So maybe there is an alt art in the box that we just got the secret out of as well. I don't know. I just I should strip all these packs. It's been too good. Too nuts. Wow, Roger, Roger, Luffy. What a, what a play. What a sequence. Absolutely wild. Uh, wow, really wow. I'm in, I'm in disbelief right now. I can't believe that's what just happened. So I guess there should be two boxes with alt arts and secrets, I think, right? Because, because this is technically an alternate art, I believe. I don't think that takes a secret spot. I think mangas take alt art spots. And we got a secret in that box. That makes sense because you can't get two secrets in a box. So these just came in the same box. So I guess that Roger card, that box could still have an alt art in it, possibly. Should we just continue ripping through these packs? I think it was these packs. I don't know, I don't really care about keeping the set sealed in Japanese. I don't think that's of any real value or use. So I think it's possible that there could be an alt art in here based on my based on my shrippum calculations. Was it this one or, I don't know, I can't even, and in the other one also, technically there should possibly be a secret because these were two boxes and we've pulled two secrets so far, which, which two, or two alt arts so far, which means, I mean two regular secrets, which means there's two more regular secrets in this case. But it would make sense that they're in the other boxes, I think. But this is, this is insane level. This is crazy insane level. Triple Roger. Wow. I'm astonished. To go that long without pulling a... Oh! Good thing we kept shrippaming. Wow. That's cool. What an insane box. <laughs> I mean, case. Whoops. Drop Blackbeard on Roger. 
These look pretty cool. They don't really have much texture. I mean, I think they kind of made them look like paper. Sick. I imagine there's probably not anything left in this box after that, but I'm shrimping on principle now. Now I'm shrimping for the principle. I'm a principal stripper. You heard? You heard me? Can there be more than one manga in a case for OP09? I don't even know. I don't even watch these stripping videos. I just strip them myself. I'm just always stripping. Me. Can't stop. Won't stop. I'm a strip maniac. There's a Shanks. Shanks likes to strip them. So it looks like uh, SC13 Luffy's still pretty good in this meta. So I think, you know, I think I'm going to keep running the deck. I'll always keep uh, OP ST1 Luffy as my pet deck. I think I'm going to play it at Locals next week. I've, I've been, I've been having fun with it. And I can't, I can't just let that guy go. You know, Halloween's coming up. ST13 Luffy, I feel pretty, I feel pretty fluid with it. I think my deck, I feel pretty good about the list that I've put together now. Um, it's pretty similar to Jackson's list, honestly. I think the one thing that I was back and forth about was how many ace to run, but after much discussion, it seems that 1-1 one, one ace is the right combination. And a card that I'm kind of like on the fence about is Ice Age. I mean, I feel like it's necessary that you have to run it because there's certain matchups where if you don't have the Ice Age and you could have had it, you would have won and you don't. So I think Ice Age, I think two is correct. Eventually it just kind of becomes a dead card. But the cool thing about that deck is in a, de in a, a dead card, you can always still get pretty big value out of it, right? You can just discard it to do your leader effect later. So you're essentially gaining two life off of a card you were just gonna trash, which is kind of nuts. Um, so yeah, I think pretty strong. Uh, anyway, I'm almost at the end of these strip -ums. You know what? I'm just going to do my dental tooth tip now. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be, wow. Gold actually is an amazing restorative material. The, the problem is that it's very expensive. So getting gold restorations, like getting gold teeth, is really, really expensive. But gold is a very, very biocompatible material. So the gold restorations that I find in people's mouths, I often have much less need to replace them than any metal fillings or fractured ceramic fillings. So I do, I do recommend gold if you can get it, but it's very expensive and not that many dentists will make gold teeth these days. So anyway, it's my gold Roger dental tooth tick. Thanks for coming by and I'll see y'all in the next one.